you had a wrestling match with, I believe, a chap named Hannibal. And yes. then the camera went into the locker room. You said, you've hurt me. You know, you're, you're, you're being too, uh, you know, too, too stiff with me. And then a Kimura was applied very quickly. And I watched that and was, I was actually quite stunned by it. But has it come out that maybe it was all contrived a bit or was it very much a, a uh, real well, affair? Hannibal told me not to tell anybody because he wanted to get the real reactions from the people in the locker room. Mm. So I decided that it would be rude of me not to tell two people, and that was Jeff Doherty, my web guy at the time, and very dear friend of mine. He's from Prince Edward Island. And I also told Honky Tonk Man that we were gonna do something after the show and it's gonna look real, but I wanted him to know so he doesn't um, not understand what's going on. Mm. You know, because uh, those, those were the only two I thought needed to know. So what we did is uh, I came in mad at him. Of course, it was obvious that the cameras were all set up and everything, mm. the lights and everything. And uh, no, there was no lighting. This is, you know, cell phone quality. <laughs> yeah. And so he told me to hit him as hard as I could. I said, I'm not going to do that. I'll just slap him. And I didn't slap him as hard as I could. I went bam, 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 bam. I paint brushed him, mm. but I did it with the front part of my phalanges, not the <laughs> heel of the hand, which might have hurt his, broken his jaw or, or did his uh, eardrum. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so then he double leg dives me, which I knew he was going to do. And he put this thing on and now, and he was quite a legitimate uh, grappler. Yeah, okay. it's expertly he, he applied. Is, what's that? It's, it's it's very expertly applied. That's why I, that's why when I first saw it, I was like, crikey! It sort of took me back a bit because I thought I was I was seeing someone really try to break someone's arm. Okay, so what happened was he's on top of me and my arm is back there and everything, and just then I realized, hey, I can't breathe. Okay, so I had to get out of this pinning. Con because he had his, all his weight on my sternum, mm. okay? So I tried like crazy to get him off of me. See, this is when the thing that wasn't real became real. Yeah. I needed to take a gulp of air. Yeah. Because without a gulp of air, I'm going to die. So I tried to breathe. I couldn't, I couldn't breathe. He was, he was all over me like a blanket. Mm. And I was all like this. So I said, well, I can't get up. So I decided to relax my body. That way I won't have an oxygen debt. Okay. Yeah. If I was struggle, 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 I would need more oxygen. Yeah. So I just relaxed my body. And then I, I tried tapping him, tap, 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 meaning let me go. Well, he didn't let me go for quite a while. And so was it real? It wasn't supposed to be, but it became real when I was on and I couldn't get out. So finally he let me go, and it took me a while to catch my breath. And then I went back into acting mode, and I called him names and this and that. You know, so I was still being professional. Mm. Now, so I hope I've answered your question. No, it wasn't real. And then on one of the YouTube videos, he admitted 10 years later that it wasn't real. Mm. But I'm telling you, it wasn't real, but it became real. Yeah, it was more, it's more real than you bargained for. I need to, I need to breathe. I need to blow out CO2 and breathe in O2 all the time, not just on weekends. Mm. So, but I will never wrestle for Hannibal again. And when I saw him in Philadelphia, he was very offended that I didn't say hello to him. And this is the reason why I will never say hello to that motherfucker because I was in the gym and one of the wrestling fans told me that I was naked on one of his tapes. I said, send me the link. And sure enough, somebody, they were all, uh, Jeremy Prophet said, Hey, we got Lanny naked in the locker room. 
in the shower and they were laughing and so there I was now a good thing I had my butt to the camera I in the shower otherwise they would have you know taken a picture of the front of me now I would have sued him but he doesn't have any money so all I did was unfriend Jeremy Prophet and Hannibal and I said okay I am unfriending you guys I made the mistake of going into your uh, working for you thinking I could take a shower without being exposed without my permission on YouTube mm. and uh, didn't sign for it and nothing I and I said uh, we are no longer friends I am unfriending both of you uh, Jeremy Prophet I'm unfriending you because you thought that was funny and and uh, Hannibal I'm unfriending you also so let me ask you I didn't litigate do you think I did the right thing if he had no money then yes because basically that is a crime I'm quite so sure to covertly film someone in a state of undress and then post it publicly that's almost like revenge porn so what I did was um, finally he as soon as I wrote that I checked again and he had taken it off but the fact is it was on mm. and uh, no, I will not, you know, he was complaining that if we were in Philadelphia and um, I didn't say hello. And uh, no, Hannibal, I am not saying hello to you or Jeremy Prophet. In fact, I plan to live the rest of my life, whether I, I'm going to live to be 100 or die tomorrow, I'm going to live the rest of my life as if you do not exist. And the reason that I didn't litigate you is because you are an unsuccessful person with no money and and then he says you know when anyway that's that's basically all i'm going to talk about i answered your question that was it good. real <laughs> was it real no it wasn't real but then it became real when i couldn't breathe hmm. do you smell what the rock is cooking enough is enough Straight up your candy ass! I kicked your leg out of your leg. The Rock has come!